Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. We are already at the 7th episode of this series and today we're gonna talk about Connecticut. Remember, if you want to see the rest of the episodes, you can click on the icon appearing now on the screen or find the link in the description. And of course, besides the US states, there's also a series covering every single country existing today, so be sure to check out my channel and perhaps even subscribe. You may or may not know this, but Connecticut was first settled by the Dutch. They were the first Europeans to come here and establish a community. This happened after the year 1614. However, starting from 1633, English settlers were much more numerous and the area eventually came under the authority of the English crown. Connecticut was one of the original 13 colonies that revolted against British rule in the American Revolution. Today, it's part of the famous, often quoted, tri-state area, together with New Jersey and New York. If you take a road trip through Connecticut, you'll probably notice how quickly you pass through the entire state. That's because it's the nation's third smallest state. But even though Connecticut is about the size of the Bahamas, that doesn't deter people from moving here. With roughly 3.6 million people living there, it's the fourth most densely populated American state. On average, 285 people live per square kilometer. How many of you actually like speed limits? We all know they're necessary, but that doesn't mean we like them. But just who were the first to introduce them? Connecticut. Well, at least in the US. In 1901, the speed limit set by law in Connecticut was 12 miles per hour, or 19 kilometers per hour. Although the UK enacted the first laws that regulated speed, those laws were not referring to automobiles. But in 1901, Robert Woodruff submitted a bill that was specifically made for motorized vehicles. Within cities, the maximum speed allowed was 19 km per hour and on the country roads 24 km per hour. In addition, the law required drivers to slow down upon approaching or passing horse-drawn vehicles and come to a complete stop if necessary to avoid scaring the animals. If you're anything like me, then you also think that submarines are awesome. In that case, any submarine enthusiast will simply fall in love with a small town in Connecticut called Groton. Also known as the submarine capital of the world, Groton is home to the only official submarine museum of the United States Navy. It holds many special submarine items of national significance, including the USS Nautilus, the world's first nuclear-powered submarine. The museum has a total repository of 33,000 artifacts, including many submarines, replicas and salvaged parts. There are also 20,000 documents, 30,000 photos and a library holding 6,000 submarine-related books. As I said, this place is just plain awesome. The Vought Sikorsky 300 is viewed to be the world's first practical helicopter and it was built in Connecticut in 1939. The VS-300 took flight at Stratford and it was designed by Igor Sikorsky, the famous Russian-American flight pioneer that left the soon-to-be Soviet Russia for America. This helicopter was the first to incorporate a single main rotor and a tail rotor, a design that is still used today in most helicopters. This model was the basis for Sikorsky's next model, the R-4, which became the first mass-produced helicopter and the first to be used by the Air Force. Now, back to geography. Most people from around the world have heard of Connecticut. But how many of you know what city is its capital? Well, it's Hartford, a small coastal city of less than 125,000 people. Hartford was founded in 1635, which makes it one of the oldest cities in the US. At one point, following the American Civil War, Hartford was the richest American city for decades. Today, however, those days are long forgotten, as Hartford is one of the poorest cities in the United States. Three out of every ten families are living below the poverty line. This is in sharp contrast with its metropolitan area, which is one of America's richest areas. It's a weird situation, 
and one that doesn't seem to go away anytime soon. One of the world's most well-known universities is in New Haven, Connecticut. Yale University is one of the most prestigious educational institutions on the planet. Founded in 1701, it's also the third oldest American university. It was originally restricted to theology and sacred languages, but the curriculum grew to encompass a wide array of fields of study. Although it's not at all easy to be accepted in its ranks, today there are over 12,000 students learning here, teached by an academic staff of 4,410 professors. Yale has given to the world five US presidents, 20 living billionaires, many heads of state, 57 Nobel laureates and countless scholars. Their record is indeed incredible. So there you have it. These were 7 facts about Connecticut. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe as more videos will follow. If you have anything to say, leave a comment downstairs. If you wish to support this channel even further, there's a Patreon page where you can contribute. Click on the screen or find the link in the description. I hope to see you next time, bye.